Hello, good morning, my dear friends. How do you do? Yesterday, I am speaking with the Mid-Atlantic accent again, because behind me is Florence Foster Jenkins. At least we were whitewashing. <laughs> and there I am. This is the before and then the after picture. And you can't see the hat, but I have the hat in my hand. Yes, I made this hat for Florence Foster Jenkins. I was um, with APA, Asian Pacific American Film, and um, Zebo, the guy that had asked me to choose a clip of any movie to reenact, but to make for us to whitewash, because, you know, for decades they've been whitewashing us. Um, so, you know, they make white people look like Asians. So anyway, we just wanted to show them that, or he wanted to show them that us Asians can be leads also because we're always support or principal role, but we're never leads. But things have changed since we had done this things have changed a lot in Hollywood and many, many shows do have, you know, Asian leads now. But anyway, so this hat is really interesting. Um, my, my coach, which I had mentioned yesterday, um, God rest his soul. Uh, may he rest, be, rest, be, may he be resting in peace. He taught me how to make this hat. It was, it's made out of cardboard. Um, so he told me to take a piece of cardboard and cut a hole in it and then you know, put some material over it. I had so much fun taking out my glue gun and then buying these flowers and all the stuff to make one of these, you know, hats from the 1940s with the, with the netting, you know, it was just great. Yes. I love showbiz. Um, I love all parts of it. The producing, the writing, the uh, directing, the craft services, the hair and makeup and props. Yeah. So I'm just, in my element when I'm doing film. Anyway, um, praise be to God for, you know, gifts and talents that he gives to us and that we can use to glorify him. Um, of course, this was not a, this was really funny. If you want to see it, it's it's on my YouTube channel, Judy Go Wong. So you'll, oh no, actually it's not on my YouTube channel. It's on um, APA. Um, so go, go look under APA and uh, look for this clip. I had to sing flat. If any of you had seen Florence Foster Jenkins, um, Meryl Streep had played her. It's a true story. The woman couldn't sing. So here I am singing flat through this clip. It was really hard to do. I did it. I aced it, but I've never worked hard at singing flat. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get into God's word, starting with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Today's title is Our Father. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. That's from Joshua 24, 15. When you face giants in life, you, ha you have to do as David did and prophesy your future. Cancer, you are no match for me. I will defeat you. This addiction may have been in my family for years, but this is a new day. I'm the difference maker. I am free. My child has been off course for a long time, but I know it's only temporary. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So say to that loneliness, that addiction, that legal problem. Don't you know who I am? I am a child of the most high God. My father created the universe. His breath, he breathed life into me and crowned me with his favor. He called me more than a conqueror. That means you can't defeat me. You can't hold me back. A men. That is so true. So good. Thank you, God, for your word in the book of Joshua. And thank you once again, Joe Olstein. I love your devotionals. I love your stories. I love how you write. Anyway, 
All right, and now for the Holy Bible, reading from the King James Version, I'm going to read today Ephesians 2.10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Father God, for your work. Your word and your workmanship, your works in us. God is so good. And now for David C. Hebers, clear my vision. I quit focusing on the handicap and began appreciating the gift. It was a case of Christ's strength moving in on my weakness. Now I take limitations in the stride and with good cheer, these limitations that I that cut me down to size, I just let Christ take over. And so the weaker I get, the stronger I become. That's from 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10. I had it backward all my life. I believe I had to fix my weakness before I could be able to focus on God. In this scripture, however, God instructs me to accept my weakness as a reminder that I need to focus on him. That allows his strength to move in on my weakness. And as a result, I become more cheerful, more hopeful, more focused on the Lord. As I move closer to the Lord, he changes me to be more like him. And that is worth everything everything to me. The prayer here today is thank you that I don't have to fix myself be before I come to you and enjoy your love. My weaknesses really are a gift. They remind me to choose to focus on you. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the gift for your gift, for your love. Thank you, God, for your love. Mm. We receive it. We covet it. We are grateful for it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much that you are our God, our creator. You know every, everything about us, the ins and out, Lord. You know the good things of us, and you know the things that were, were not good. But Father, we thank you that you continue to mold and shape and fashion us, Lord, to your image, to who you desire for us to be here on this earth. And Father God, we just thank you so, so much for that. God, we continue to grow in you and let you mold and shape and fashion us, Lord, because we don't need to do anything but just be here, love you, focus on you, and that is it. It's not a hard thing to do, God, and we will continue to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, may you continue to walk with the Lord in and through him and let him do his work in and through you. Until tomorrow, 再见.